Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we are working with the Queen of the Moon Oracle. We just have one deck here and I want you to choose the number between one and three. I'm going to be doing three um, three different readings here. I don't have any stones or anything else for you today. Just feel which number resonates with you for today. Either one, two or three. And you can go down to the description box where you'll find the timestamp for your reading and you can go directly to your reading. So once again we're working with the Queen of the Moon Oracle and I'm going to start now with the number one. Okay so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, what have you come here to hear today? What is it that you need to hear at this moment? Okay, um, this feels like it could be right, but I also feel like this is not the only card here. Um, so I'm going to go on and shuffle a little longer. What else is there for the, those who've chosen the option number one to hear today? Is there another, is there something else that they need to hear today? There we are. Okay. All right. So the first inclination, the first feeling I'm getting from these cards. Uh, so firstly, well, let me, before I start with that, let me just tell you, it's the number four and it's acceptance. And the card here, it states waxing accent number two. So this deck actually talks about the different moon cycles, uh, waxing and waning. Um, and it's referring to this time's time okay so I'm not going to go so much into the times because I'm not working with you individually I'm working with a whole uh, this is for a whole bunch of you and I'm you know this may the timings may be different for each of you and this card here is the number 22 and it states waxing gibbous six and the card is wisdom all right so the, the first thing I hear when, I, when I've put down these cards, the first thing I've gotten is that the wisdom that you seek is within you, okay? You don't need to reach out for it, even though, uh, sorry for the camera shake, even though in this um, picture here, we see that she's reaching out for something. You don't need to reach out. What you need to do is reach within you. You need to reach within you for this wisdom because the answers that you're seeking right now is actually within you. You don't need to step outside of yourself to ask for that guidance. You don't need to actually, um, uh, you know, seek guidance from anyone else. You don't need to go to a counselor. You don't need to have a tarot card reading. You don't need to go to a psychic. You don't need to go to your friend or to your family for the message that you need right now. It is within you and this wisdom that you have within you just needs to be tapped. Okay, you just need to recognize and accept that you have this wisdom within you already and that your connection with this world, with this consciousness in this world, with the divine, with, with God, however you perceive it, however you label it, your, your connection to this world is there, it's unwavering and whether you are accepting of it or not accepting of it, it is always there and the wisdom that comes from within you uh, is is you actually tapping into that collective wisdom, that collective consciousness, which has all the memories and has all the information that you need to be able to make the decisions that are before you right now. And if you've just come here right now to be able to uh, just go on with your week and you just want some kind of message as to what do you need to know for the week, well, for you, it's simply accept, simply accept yourself as the one who makes the decisions in your life and accept the one, accept the situation as it unfolds, all right? It's all going to go according to plan. It's going to be a fairly smooth week. It feels, it feels like whatever is going to happen is going to happen for the greatest good. It's not like something, some, if you encounter something that's going, going to be uh, a little bit hard to deal with, it's not going to just be there because it's bad luck or because, you know, it's something bad in the energy, or whatever. This is all unfolding for your highest good. And it's up to you to accept that. It's up to you to actually recognize that this is happening for your highest good and that you can, um, in accepting that, 
you have you can access more wisdom as a result or also that you have the wisdom to be able to accept that all is unfolding for your highest good and that you are able to make the decisions that you need to in your life in according in accordance with your own intuition in accordance with whatever is going on inside of you whether these be lifelong decisions whether it may be moving or buying something new or um you know whatever decision you need to make whether it's sim a simple decision that takes you know a millisecond to have to make this decision because you need to act immediately all of these decisions come from within you and if you allow it to come from a space of, of wisdom and contentment and connection with the world and the greater wisdom then you'll be fine okay and uh, you know the uh, in, in saying that, I feel I also need to say that make sure that this wisdom that you're tapping into is not, you're not tapping into fear, you're not tapping into apprehension or any kind of uh, worry that you may have, that you are actually grounding yourself and you're feeling that connection within you that is to the, the, the consciousness, you know, not the consciousness of fear, not the consciousness of, of worry or, um, you know, negative expectations but rather just the the stillness the wisdom that is inside of you all right so i think that is your message for this week i don't see um i don't feel anything else but give me a second just to see if anything else comes up i feel that it might be from this card okay so what i'm also hearing is that the what you have at this moment is adequate as it stands okay yes you may need to educate yourself further you may need to find out more you may need to understand a little bit better or deeper or clarify something but you don't need to wait until you have that clarification to make these decisions or to feel that you are in connection or you feel that you are one with the greater goodness and with the greater wisdom and you don't need to be you know, you don't need to allow that to be something that makes you feel insecure as a result. Because for some of you, it might be that you might be telling yourself that, you know, I don't know this right now, or I can't do this. I can only do it when I have that knowledge, or when I have that degree, or when I have that diploma, when I've done that course, or when I've learned this or that or the other. And what I'm hearing here is for those of you who are in that predicament, or you find yourself saying this to yourself, you actually are you know, you are holding yourself back. So don't be afraid to act before you have all the knowledge at your disposal. So usually the message is the other way around, like make sure you have all your the knowledge at your disposal and then act. Well, in this case, it doesn't, it's not saying that. It's saying go ahead and actually do what you need to do. All right. It, it doesn't matter. You don't need to wait until you know everything. Um, you just need to whatever you know right now is adequate and do a little bit more work uh, to, you know, to get to where you need to. Uh, but you don't need to wait for an eternity or wait for a year or wait for another month. You can actually just go ahead as it states right now. So that is your message for those of you who've chosen the option number one. I hope that's been useful for you. And I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to um, move on to the option number two. So for those of you who have chosen the option number two, the question we're asking, as always, in the weekly Oracle card readings is, what is it that you need to know right now? And what have you come here for? What is the message that you need to uh, hear at this moment that's going to help you as you go along, whether it be just for this week or whether it be for several weeks ahead? Right, so this is the card that we have and we have growth okay so I the number here is number five and uh, I don't know if you can see that clearly just bring that back into focus so the number here is five and it says it says waxing crescent three and the card is growth you can just take a closer look at that So this message almost feels like a little bit in alignment with the message that I'd given out uh, a few minutes ago uh, with the with the first option. And, <coughs> excuse me, 
Um, basically, it's talking about your, your growth. It's talking about how far you've come in all of this. And I think that one of the things that really uh, stand out to me here is that you've been growing for such a long time and you've been doing really well on your path, you know, and I feel like what you need to hear right now is that you actually just need to pay attention to that. You need to, in fact, um, just allow yourself to recognize that you have grown. You have, in fact, come so far and that this growth is not something that's happened out of the ether. It's something that's connected to the world around you. It's connected to the people around you. It's connected to what you're doing on a daily basis. It's connected to your routines, you know, this growth that you're willing to make or that you wish to have in your life or that you have made in your life is going to come out of how you arrange your day, how you go about your daily routines, how you plan your life, who you interact with, how you interact with the people that you interact with. This growth is something that is on its path already. It's not something that needs to be to begin, even though you may be, you, if you are at the beginning of this feeling of growth, it, it what they're saying to you is that don't kid yourself, don't fool yourself. It's actually begun already. You are on this path already. And for those of you who are a little bit further on and you're feeling that your growth is a bit more mature and that, and I'm not talking about, you know, you growing as, as a per, as a, a physically or something. I'm talking about like a spiritual growth. I'm talking about you actually coming into yourself and it's nothing, there's nothing airy fairy about it. It's simply, you know, I, do you love yourself enough to have clear boundaries, to do what you want to in your life, to actually be determined to reach your goals, to, to gain all that you want to in this life? Do you love yourself enough to work towards that bliss and that peace in your life? And that's the growth that we're talking about. I, how are you making growth in terms of that and how far have you come this this card is about how far you've come and i feel like the the range of you watching this are different points in your growth and therefore uh, the messages that i'm giving right now is kind of a like a vague message but okay so let me just try to say that for those of you who are a bit further along in your growth recognize that you're doing really well and that you're recognize your connection to those around you and to your routines and to how what you look at look back and look at how you've come to this point and take a moment to look to evaluate where you're headed to and what is it that you need to adjust in order to go forward and to allow this growth to continue and to allow you to progress in the in the way in which you would like to progress and for those of you who are at the beginning stages of your growth well this path ahead of you is actually something that you're going to be enjoying it's something that is enriching it's enriching you it's not something that's taking away from you you don't need to shy away from it you don't need to be afraid of it you don't need to be worried about how you're actually going to proceed you simply need to allow yourself to unfold and to proceed, go ahead, go ahead with this and maintain your connection to the world, can maintain your connection to those around you. You know, sometimes when people embark upon a certain path of a soul journey or, you know, you, you're growing in, in, in yourself, one tends to become a satellite and feel you one tends to feel quite disconnected with the world around you. And this, this card is saying, well, no, don't do that to yourself. Seek out your tribe, you know, seek out your soul tribe, seek out those people who are going to give you the support that you need, even if they are a virtual friends, even if they are people who are not in your daily environment or be, not people that you interact with. Go out there, make your connection strong with those people who are part of your soul tribe and recognize them and allow them to support you as you go ahead and as you grow forth in this in this time. And, um, you know, the other thing um, that I'm hearing here is this is the Queen of the Moon Oracle, but I'm also hearing that particularly with this card here, be aware of the, um, the begin something on the next moon cycle, okay? Like if you want to start something new or if you feel like you're not sure when to start something and you're not feeling that the time is right, try to urge yourself to begin it on the next moon cycle. I think it would be Friday this week. Uh, we have a first quarter. Go go with that and... Um, and 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 see how you feel okay because i feel that this moon energy is going to give you a huge spurt you know it's going to give you a, a lot to work with it's going to 
really help you to boost yourself. It's gonna, it's gonna be like an energy drink, you know, that you have and like just pushing you forward, like a Red Bull give you, gives you wings kind of thing. It's giving you wings, okay? So to be able to go on and do what you need to do next. And that's all for those of you who've chosen the option number two. I'm moving on to the option number three now. And the question we're asking uh, for those of you who've chosen the option number three is what is it that you've come here to hear this week? And what is it that you need to hear right now that's going to assist you as you go along on your path? All right, it's this one. There we are. We have balance. Okay, so it's number 19 and it's the card of balance. And the card here is waning gibbous three. Okay, the, the, I mean the moon cycle here is waning gibbous three. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to bring it into focus for you. There we are. All right, so what do we have here? We have a person who's actually standing in balance in our life. And it's almost like she is quite clear about where she's come from. You know, she has the growth behind her. She has the value of experience behind her. And it's almost these these assets that she has. And she's able to take in everything that she has and hold it and understand it in its greater entirety, understand its greater significance while still not understanding all of it, while still not understanding so much more and knowing that some of what she still needs to understand is is quite vague to her. It's almost like it's foggy. It's almost like she has her head in the clouds here. It's almost as if she may have her head in the clouds, literally, I mean, figuratively speaking. But it's actually what they're saying here is that this is, isn't what you need to focus on. You don't need to focus on an intellectual pursuit of your balance. You don't need to focus on a physical, necessarily a physical uh uh, balance here. What we're focusing on here is an emotional balance, is something that you are, in fact, able to understand yourself better as a result of the experiences that you've had in your life and as a result of all that you've experienced uh, in the last weeks, in the last months, but and of course in your life, but especially in the last few weeks and months. The other thing here is that this person completely understands the world around her and how it changes, how it transforms, how the moon waxes and wanes, how the, the, the currents of life, this person understands the currents of life. So the, the message for you this week is like, how do you actually understand the currents of your life? You know, look at people that you engage with on a, on a daily basis. Look at people all around you and see how, what moods they are in and look at where they are in their cycle and look at how that impacts you and how you draw from them or how you gain from them or how you lose to them in a moment because you it's always a, like a tide that's coming in and going out at um at any moment and there's a balance that needs to be created not just within you and with you know who you are but with those around you okay so that balance here the is, is what you need to be aware of. Now, this person, it's not, it's not, this card is not saying, you know, go out and try to figure other people's well-being out or their psyche or anything like that. They're just saying, be observant of how their, um, what's going on around in other people's lives around you, whether you meet somebody at a supermarket or whether you are stuck in traffic or, and, you know, and, and you encounter somebody all of these people, how are they rubbing up against you and how does that impact you and how does that impact your balance that you have? Take all of these things account and it's almost like you need to do your, your bookkeeping with your energy and see where how it feels to you when you interact in particular ways. But I also, so, so the message for this week for you is, you know, take care of how others impact you in terms of your balance, but also recognize how you can come into balance by using the knowledge and the wisdom that you have right now. But do this not in an intellectual way. Do this by feeling, by simply feeling, you know, surrendering your mind, quietening your mind, doing a meditation perhaps, or just quietening your mind and going in to your core, going into, you know, that your area that's kind of just be between the second and the, and the third chakra going in there and basically 
feeling your root to the world, feeling your your balance through the world and what you've learned such, thus far and what you felt thus far. And if you're feeling like when you do this, if you're feeling that you, you are not actually gaining very much or you're not really coming to any kind of feeling of being centered or, or peace, then go back a little bit and see in which direction you're being pulled. Where is it that you're being pulled to and what significance does that have for you? How is it impacting you? You know, some concern that you may have or some physical um, problem that you may be experiencing right now. How is this pulling you off balance and how is this pulling you in a different direction? And see if you can urge yourself just energetically to pull that energy back to you to actually bring yourself directly back into balance so that you can in fact um, experience the bliss and the calm of this balance, experience the peace of this balance. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see this card uh, really in focus. I'm trying to do my best here to get it back in focus. But uh, yeah, so apologies if this is not uh, the best, if you don't really see this card very well. So um, yeah, the last thing I want to say with regard to this is that, you know, whether you're a 15-year-old uh, person or you are, you know, 63 years old or older or anywhere in between, this hasn't, this balance that you're seeking has nothing to do with knowledge or with a sort of, um, a sort of wisdom that is beyond you. This is something that anyone can do at any stage of their lives. It's simply going in and feeling that place of stillness inside of them, feeling that balance, feeling where the pendulum stops swinging and where it comes to a place of stillness. And this is something that can be achieved even in two minutes, you know, just taking yourself out of your work day or whatever your routine is and just feeling here the stillness that is in you. Okay, so there, though, that was this message has been quite varied and it has different components to it, but I hope that's made sense to you. I hope that helps you as you go ahead on this week. And I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead. Uh, to all of you, I'm not sure if the um, if any of you come to the end aside from the last card, but I wish all of you a fabulous week ahead. And um, yes, blessings abound from Kismet Rising. <laughs>